Hey, everybody. Welcome. Linda Bean on our Wednesday segment, um, Shining a Light from the Kellyanne Dolan Memorial Fund. Um, hope everybody's enjoying this beautiful sunny day. Humidity's down, nice breeze. Um, I don't know what day it is of quarantine, but it's always great when the weather is beautiful. I'd like to welcome today my friend um, Kelly Kleinfelter, who is the um, executive director from Twin Spring Farm School. We've got a, a really beautiful special partnership with um, that school and the Artman Lutheran Home, which we'll kind of get into a little bit later. But I wanted to welcome Kelly and, and just hear a little bit about kind of the history and what's happening at Twin Spring Farm School these days. Welcome, Kelly. Hi, Linda. Thanks for having me today. Um, I am the educational director here at Twin Spring Farm. Um, we have a campus here in the, uh, we're situated on 30 acres, so uh, makes us a little bit different than any other um, center out there. Um, we are a day school, we are a day camp, and we have an infant toddler center as well too. Um, we have a very rich history. Mrs. Hood started the day camp 76 years ago. Um, she's still very active in the daily um, happenings around here. So we're very fortunate that she's um, around to see her legacy. Um, camp will be a little bit different this year, but we're looking forward to getting started in two weeks for our camp season. That's amazing. And, you know, Kelly knows this. Um, I used to live until very recently right behind the camp. I used to love the summer, <laughs> hearing the megaphone every morning, you know, hearing what the agenda was for the day. And it's just a very um, community based, but very beloved um, summer camp that I know has a, a day camp and not this summer, but um, an esteemed travel camp for teenagers too, which is pretty cool. Yeah, our travel camp, unfortunately, our teen scene program uh, will be a little bit different this year because we can't do the traveling that um, we normally do. Uh, they usually go on day trips and they do two overnights. Um, so that would be a little bit different this year. They're gonna be on campus instead. Gotcha. And you, like everyone else, um, you were impacted by the um, COVID pandemic as well. Tell me what kind of um, happened with the school during that time. Well, back on March 12th, which we were coincidentally hosting a dance-a-thon for the yeah, Kelly Andel Memorial were. Fund. Um, so we were at least able to get that in before um, we had our shutdown, which we anticipated was only going to be two weeks. Um, which then grew to a month and then grew to the end of the school year. So it's been a very different, very challenging, um, you know, finishing out the, the year um, with, you know, some virtual lessons that we were trying to put out there for the kids too. Um, but it was very difficult that, you know, our program is very hands-on. So um, to go from doing a hands-on, you know, curriculum where the kids are learning um, in the classroom with, with all their friends to, to try to transform that to whether it's a Zoom call or um, just some ideas and things that we've sent out through email blasts for the parents to do at home. Yeah. And I bet, gosh, parents must have a new appreciation for the classroom <laughs> setting and teachers when they find themselves you know, in the position of really yeah. having to homeschool their kids. Yeah, we have heard that from a lot of the parents too. Um, many of their job jobs have changed where they're working from home. Um, so trying to create that balance of spending time with your kids and working has been a little difficult. So we've tried to put some activities out there that would um, that would give the kids a chance to to do something quick, give the parents a chance to, you know, get some work done in the meantime, too. Yeah, that's great. That's great. Well, um, our partnership is really one of my, my favorite um, time spent at the Dolan Fund. Um, we have a really rich collaborative partnership 
between Twin Spring Farm School and the Artman um, Lutheran home um, that's pretty special. What, what do you think um, the takeaway is for the preschool, um, well really the pre-K kids are the ones that come over, so the four and five-year-olds. What's the takeaway? What do you hear when we come back from um, a program at Artman? For instance, right here, we're looking at um, a fun activity where we put together hospital busy bags mm -hmm. for kids at St. Christopher's Hospital. It's just been amazing. Um, you know, when you take a group of four and five-year-olds on a field trip, you never know what's gonna happen. Um, but the kids have gotten so much out of it. The teachers that have gone over with them have just been so touched. Um, I go to all the events as well too. So um, I get there beforehand and meet some of the residents before we begin. Um, but as, as the kids walk in, just the, the look of um, pure excitement actually on, on their faces is amazing. Um, they enjoy seeing the kids. They just have to sit and watch. Um, they're happy just sitting and watching too uh, and watching the kids interact and, and do some activities. I see you have the, the Easter bunny yeah. up there now. We had our Easter egg hunt. Um, last year, um, we were supposed to do one this year too, but of yeah. course that didn't happen. Um, but the residents are just, they absolutely love us coming over and we love it too. It is is truly one of the highlights um, to go over and visit every month. You know, it's pretty incredible. I think what um, initially started as doing a couple projects a year that would benefit the families that we serve at the Dolan Fund really just evolved into this really rich friendship and relationship between the school and Artman. I try to get over for most of the programs um, as well. Um, and it's just so incredible to see just the residents there, um, their faces light up and sharing stories about their own grandchildren and um, their lives. And I know we really try to structure it, especially when we're doing an activity where we have one child to one resident, if mm -hmm. there are enough residents participating. Um, and it, you know, sometimes for, for some of those folks living there, it's the only visitor, you know, that day that they're gonna see. Um, and it really makes mm -hmm. a difference. I know you yeah. and I are kind of behind the scenes getting ready to start talking with um, Madeline, our contact over at Artman, not sure what it's going to look like next year. Yeah. You know, we're going to figure out something, aren't we, to at least... Um, we, will, we will certainly come up with something. Um, we've had all of our students from our infant toddlers all the way up through our pre-first class um, make cards for the residents, and we've had the chance to deliver them. So I'm sure we'll be able to at least do that. I'm not sure about delivering them, but at least we can maybe take a bus ride over and, and drop them off sure. at the door for everybody. And there's always a song um, element when you come over, which we <laughs> love, which they love. Sometimes there's hand motion. I could skip the baby shark one, quite honestly, but that's because <laughs> my kids are 25 and 21. But, um, you know, we're, we're doing a lot virtually. So it's, it's you know, possible where the kids could put together a little show or something for them and it yeah. could be shown at an activity. We uh, certainly can. We Music and art are, are a big part of our curriculum here. Um, we have two full-time music teachers so I am certain that we could put something together and whether it's a virtual show or we you know tape something and send it over we will we'll certainly you know work on that. Right. You know just so you know um, before I ask you what we can do to kind of support the school. I know we were slated on International Firefighters Day for the kids yeah. to come over um, and give little bags to the Wissahickon Fire Department, one of our other partners. Um, we were able to do something um, for them. We couldn't involve Artman, unfortunately, yeah. but we did deliver them some cupcakes and um, funny enough, um, 
the beer from our canceled taste event the day that you were doing the uh, dance a thon. Mm -hmm. um, so we were able to celebrate them in some way. So hopeful, uh -huh. hopeful we can do do it next year. Yeah, together. yeah. It, it yeah. we were planning to put something really special together, um, and that that would be wonderful to try and do it again next year. That yeah, would be cool. You know, what can we do? Um, you were definitely impacted. I know you had to furlough um, all of your teachers. I know you were furloughed for a short period of time. Is there something that the community could collect or donate that would be helpful to get you off to a good start the beginning of the school year next year? Um. I don't, I don't know. I think we right now we're we're hoping for a very normal start to the school year. Okay. Um, we've got a couple months to prepare and to make any modifications that that we need. Our toddler center is opening next week, so um, in the camp the following week. So we'll be in a pattern of getting things prepared to get the school year off and off and started. Okay, cool. So like not, not any school supplies or art supplies or anything like that would be helpful. I mean, those things are always helpful and we like to do, we, we oftentimes will share those with, you know, some of the other um, organizations that we, we work with. Um, our parents are very generous and we're very fortunate yeah. um, to have such a wonderful family uh, base here at Twin Spring Farm. Um, so even for our giving tree that we have at Christmas time, they are the the items that we collect from all the families that go into all those hospital busy bags that right. we send to St. Christopher's. Yeah. Incredibly generous um, families there that mm -hmm. through the dance-a-thon, the spring fling last year, every yeah. little bit um, helps our families. And I wonder if just in a couple of sentences before we go today, um, what you think the service learning um, element to teaching these kids, why is it important um, at this age? I think starting uh, with community service at such an early age is a wonderful thing. Um, and it builds, you know, if it becomes part of their lives now, it will become part of their lives as they grow up. Um, there's so many organizations out there that could use help um, and, and our kids are seeing that now. We've done community service projects for the last five, six years or so. Um, it's been a monthly thing for us. So they are able to see that other kids need help or other organizations need help. We've done food drives. We've done um, fundraisers for your organization too. Um, we've done lemonade stands. We've done things for cradles to crayon. So we've, we've been very active um, and we hope that the kids participating in all those events here throughout the years that they're here just kind of builds um, on being a part of their lives and they continue it as they move on. Yeah, it's a wonderful philosophy to incorporate. I think, you know, we have this mindset of trying to build um, young minds and young people as global citizens from the get-go. And um, the fact that they will learn kind of at an early age in when you give to others, how much it really kind of enriches your life um, for the better. So I think it's wonderful. And we really thank you. One of our favorite, favorite partnerships. I look forward to how we kind of pivot and adapt next year. Um, but, yeah. you know, confident that we're going to continue to grow it and find meaningful ways to collaborate. Absolutely, so I look forward to seeing you during the summer sometime so we can start planning for the school year and see what we can do. And hopefully, maybe not in September or October, but maybe later on in the year, we can get to the Artman too Sounds for some great. of those visits. Sounds great, I'm gonna keep that positive thought. Yes. Kelly, thanks for stopping by and visiting today and telling us Linda. about Twin Spring Farm. Uh, thanks, Linda. We always appreciate seeing you and being a part of your organization. Great. Have a wonderful day. Thanks. You too. Bye. Bye-bye.